Hello! In this tutorial, you will learn how to use animator behaviors, that is, behaviors that can drive a Unity animator controller. To explain this, I imported an animated throw from the Unity Asset Store in my basic VR Builder scene. As we can see, this troll has an animator component and references an animator controller. This is the animator controller, which lists all animations available for this model, and I made a very basic controller out of it. The only state that is available is this move blend tree state, which shows a blend tree between three different animations, idle animation, walk animation, and run animations, and these are driven by the speed parameter. Speed is a float parameter, and when it's zero, the troll is idle, then moving up to 10, it will transition to the walk animation, and uh, moving up to 20, it will transition from the walk to the run animation. This way, we can decide which animation the model is playing by changing the speed parameter. That's enough for the Unity animator part. Let's see how we can control this with VR Builder. I'm opening the workflow editor and I'm creating a new step where I will uh, play the animation. I open the step in the step inspector and now I can add a behavior. We have these set animator behaviors here. Our speed value is a float, so we will choose this one. The float behavior is a little more advanced than the other ones because it allows also to animate the value over time, whilst, for example, the set boolean behavior just sets the value immediately. So let's fill out the parameters in this behavior. We need to select an animator object, which is an object with an animator property. We can, as usual, drag the troll and press fix it to automatically add the property. It's worth noting that you still need an animator component on the object you reference here, as it will not automatically be added when adding the animator property. This is because, of course, you need to reference an animator controller and uh, configure everything, so it wouldn't make sense to just add an animation component. Then we need to type the name of the parameter we need to influence. In our case, this is speed. Then we need to decide the value we want it to reach. We remember that a speed of 20 was the maximum uh, that would uh, completely play the running animation, so let's write 20 here. And also, floats can be animated over time from the original value to the target value, and uh, let's say we want uh, to animate it over 20 seconds. Here we can tweak our animation curve as usual, but uh, we are fine with this shape for now. And now we can press play and see what happens. We can see the parameter is changing over time here and the animation changes, starts working slowly at first, then getting faster and faster, and now it starts blending with the running animation until it reaches 20, when it will be only the running animation playing. Note that the animation keeps playing even if the behavior has ended, that's because we are only setting parameters in an animator, contrary to our other animation behaviors, uh, which last the duration of the behaviors and then end when the behavior ends. Um, this is especially useful for animations that are not tied to a particular step uh, in your process, but something that changes states and holds the same state while you're doing other steps in the process. I hope this tutorial was useful to you, and if so, please check out our other tutorials, and if you haven't done so, join our community on Discord, where you can find support and ideas on how to use VR Builder. See you next time!